Good morning. Excuse me, Facebook Live. How are we today? I'll just wait, Facebook build my audience up and I'll just get my little doobie in place a little bit better. There we go. Okay. So today, I my name is Alicia De Jong. for those who don't know me and uh, are watching the replay. Hi there, whoever's just jumped on, please uh, let me know who's there. Today, I was going to talk about five Twitter hacks to generate more leads online. Uh, let me know if you're using Twitter, excuse me, if you're using Twitter, if you're struggling with Twitter, like, um, yeah, Twitter's a great platform to be generating leads, but a lot of people don't, are underestimating it and don't really know how to use it. Please say hello, let me know where you're calling in from, and uh, I'm just going to dive straight in. So, five Twitter hacks to generate more leads online. Okay, so number one is only use three hashtags, okay, and make one of them a company. Do you know what I mean by that? Okay, so, hold on. What I mean by that is only use three hashtags because you only get an X amount of character space for your tweet. So just use three hashtags. And an example of what I'm talking about here is, say for example, you do hashtag MLM, hashtag biz tips, and then the last hashtag pick a company. So hashtag Bysalis, hashtag Herbalife. Pick a company that you want to position your, your tweet in front of. Because remember a hashtag is like a, uh, a keyword. So people actually go into Twitter and they search hashtags. So people who are, let's use Vysalis as an example. It is a network marketing opportunity business and MLM for those who don't know. But Vysalis, like if someone goes into the Twitter search bar, types in Vysalis, then your tweet will come up in that category of tweets. Okay, so you're positioning your tweet and what you have to say in your link, whatever it is that you've got to, the message you need to spread in front of people who are interested in Vysalis. Okay, so that's a really good tip. Definitely, uh, hi there, thank you. Please say hello to talking five Twitter hacks to generate more leads. So my first one was use only three hashtags in your tweet and make one of them a company. Okay, all right, number two. Most of you guys probably know this already, but always use a short link. There's a amount of times that I see people who don't use short links, and I think, really? You're just using up a lot of character space that you need to use. Oh, hey, Desi, how are you going? So, yeah, talking Twitter. I don't know if you use Twitter, Desi, but I'm just talking about like using a short link and a short link is going to save you a lot of character space because I think it's, look, I could, correct me if I'm wrong, but it could be 75 characters you get for your tweet. So if you could use like a bit.ly link or a short link, I know the system that I'm using at the moment and I know that you use Desi, we can create our own short links and that will save you character space. So therefore you could probably put a longer hashtag in, you could put a longer tweet in and get more information out there. Not probably. Okay, well, we'll have to sort you out with that. Get you going. Because Twitter is really a great platform for generating leads and spreading your message. And I'll talk to you a bit later about automation for Twitter and what's a really good way that you can use it. The third thing is always have a clear bio, have a clear picture, and a username that's centered around your business opportunity. So, for example, my user handle is, which is that little at symbol, that's my handle, and mine is actually my name. So it's at, or the little symbol, Alicia De Jong. But my actual username is Start Business Info because I'm looking to help people start their business up online and I'm providing a lot of opportunity or a lot of information. Whereas some people might call themselves like Online Marketer 101 or Prospecting 101. So you, or they might do it around their actual business opportunity. So let's keep talking about Vysalis. So that maybe they're called uh, the num number one Vysalis distributor or uh, Vysalis for health. Okay. 
I'll listen at home, the sound went, okay, no worries. But yeah, so if you can do that, that's also going to give you a lot of, uh, um, what's the word for it? Interaction, because people are going to go, oh, they're into Vaisalas instantly from seeing that name, instead of just going, oh, that's Alicia De Jong, I don't really know what she does, and right now, okay, her tweet might be fine, but I'm not going to go there. But they're more likely to follow you if the username is uh, centered around your business opportunity or about what you do, okay? Hope that makes sense. The next one is also about your bio. Well, first of all, your bio needs to, your little blurb that you get to put in there needs to be really, really clear and to the point about what it is you do, okay? So my fourth point is use hashtags in your bio. You get found by putting, hi there guys, whoever's jumping on, please uh, say hello, give us a heart. If you think you're getting some value from my five uh, Twitter hacks to generate more leads, please share. I'd really appreciate it. Um, so number four tip is use hashtags in your bio because this is another great way that you can get found because people are searching in Twitter up the top. You can search by hashtag. And if you've got hashtags in there, hello, Karen. Good morning, good night. <laughs> you can uh, also be found. So a hashtag in a bio is really powerful and not a lot of people do it, okay? And I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but make sure your pitch is clear. Make sure you're not an egghead. Make sure it's clear and it's a happy face, not like a blurry, weird thing, you know? Um, yeah, make it great. Thanks, Karen. Give you a thumbs up for that. Please give me some hearts, share it out if you're getting some value. Number five is, this one's fantastic, and it's using automation for Twitter. Some people already know this, but a lot of people actually still aren't using it. Twitter's really, like, if you put a tweet out, your news feed goes so quick that, like, it's instantly, don't be an egghead, exactly. <laughs> I, didn't, I actually do not friend eggheads, because I'm like, well, you're not serious. Put a picture on there. Put yourself out there and then we can talk. But yeah, Twitter automation. So as I was saying, your tweets go through the Twitter feed so quickly that like, honestly, if you put a tweet out and then you went back even 10 seconds later, you're probably way down the bottom because it's so constantly tweeting, tweeting, tweeting and you'll just get lost. So you need to tweet a lot through the day. And Okay, first of all, you're thinking, well, how time consuming is that? And I totally agree. But if you can use an automation, like I use a program called Tweet Jukebox. There is a free Tweet Jukebox. I actually do the paid one because I wanted more Tweet Jukeboxes. But the free one is perfectly fine. I know people that use it and it's not a problem. But what you can do in there is like think of a jukebox and you've got all different playlists, then you can curate or categorize tweets around your jukebox. For example, I put blog posts in there. So I have one tweet jukebox called blog posts. I have another one for one of the businesses I promote and another one for the other business I promote. So I've got the three and actually another one for events that I promote. So between the four of them, oh, and I have one for quotes because quotes, people love quotes, okay? Quotes get a lot of attention. So between the five of them, you know, I've got, it's all organized. I've got one just full of quotes, I've got one full of, uh, two full of the companies I promote, one full of blog posts, you know, so that way I'm organized and you can set it to tweet uh, consistently throughout the day, depending on how many tweets you actually have in each jukebox. Like if you had 300, which is a lot, then it would go out possibly every three or four minutes. But if you only say had 50, it may tweet out maybe every 20 minutes. So what you're doing is you're getting yourself in front of people all the time. So you're just constantly exposing yourself, exposing yourself, exposing yourself. Tweet, tweet box is fantastic. Tim Fargo, I think is the name of the guy that uh, curated Tweet Tweet Box. I'd highly recommend uh, checking it out. Actually, in the link above, and I'll do my little pen all up, which I like to do, is a, uh, a um, training on how to use Tweet Jukebox. Adam Chandler, he uses Tweetbox all the time. 
and it's a great way. Hi, Andrea. Thanks for joining. Let me know where you're calling in from. But yeah, so Tweet Jukebox. It's fantastic. The training up the top will give you that one. Yes, Karen. That's exactly right, right? Um, yeah, so use it. And Adam Chandler, he, he uses it all the time. And I also use it all the time too. So I really think that you need to um, be using it. It's a really great automated way just to be pushing your message out there. And once it's set up, honestly, like I will add, like when I do a blog post, I will add to it. Or if there's something new coming up, I'll add to it. But once it's set up, and it's not hard to set up, it's it, it's just automatic and it just flicks out. I'm getting followers all the time from it. I'm getting leads from it. And uh, it's just a great way to get your message out there. One more bonus tip that I actually really want to stress about Twitter is that you, you do have a option to have like an automated message go out to people who automatically follow you. So this is great and I do use it, but don't go and put links in an automated message. There's programs like Crowdfire and there is another one that Adam talks about and I can't think what it's called and you can put an automated message in. But like keep it really short and simple. Like just say, you know, okay, hi Karen, thanks for following me. How, how are you going today? You know, and people actually respond to that. Instead of going, hi Karen, um, my name's Alicia and I'm an online marketer and this is what I do, blah, 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 and here's a link, boom, you know. Open up chat with people and get them thinking and chatting with you. I have generated so many leads and recruited in to another opportunity I was doing a while ago uh, from Twitter. It was really, really powerful. I personally have bought a course via Twitter. It was exactly what I was looking for and it's actually one of the best courses I've bought to date. Um, so, you know, it does work. The other thing about the direct message is people will reply to you. So you need to check your, your messages, reply back. So just because you got this direct, like this is the thing. People have automated messages in there all the time and you see them. They're as clear as a whistle once you get to see them and you go, whatever. Like it's just another automated message, copy and paste. Mark Harbert talked about wanting to share links too soon on Facebook today. I haven't listened. Is that his Facebook Live? I haven't listened to it. Mark Harbert talked about, about weight. Yeah, exactly. And actually Mark Harbert's been one of my mentors and um, had some great conversations about this. You know, like don't just give people a link. Get to know them. Ask them. One of the best ways that you can open conversation, especially in Facebook and Twitter, Twitter I love doing this, is before you answer someone, go back in, have a look at their bio and see what they're about, okay? So like if they say, online marketer, working from home, have two kids and a dog, live in, I don't know, Italy, <laughs> as an example. Yeah, I, no, I know, I know what you mean, Karen. Yes, I meant wanting, not waiting. Yeah, I know what you mean. This is the thing, like, it, it builds up a no like trust, okay? Open up conversation, so go back. Have a look in their bio and uh, say, hey, Bob, thanks for, uh, thanks, you know, oh, thanks for replying, you know, how you're going today. I see that also you're an online marketer. What exactly is it you do? Or if they've got, um, if they're living in Italy, you could, oh, okay, I'll give you a better example. <laughs> Instead of Italy, come off the top of my head. South Korea. I had this guy just before, I checked my messages, and, and I've had this quite a bit. And because one of my messages says, hey, I'm an Aussie, and actually I need to update this. Hey, I'm an Aussie expat living in South Korea, working online. Uh, let me know what you do or where you're at, whatever it says. Anyway, he wrote back and he said, hey, I'm actually going to South Korea in like three weeks time. You know, like, where are you? Like, let's chat. So I wrote back to him and said, oh, fantastic. Glad to hear you going to South Korea. I'm actually now back in Australia. Hope that the earthquake doesn't, um, that they've subsided, right? Because we've got earthquakes there at the moment. So I hope that they've subsided and they don't affect you. And then he will reply back and we will open up conversation. And uh, it's really interesting. So you can just talk to people instead of just going, blurt. Here's my link. You know, that is the wrong way. And um, once upon a time, maybe it worked, but it doesn't work anymore. And this will build up a no like trust. So then what you do is 
you say, uh, like there was another lady who was on here and I actually liked a conversation. We were chatting about, um, she showed me her blog and I said, look, you know what? I'm not always in Twitter, but I'm always on Facebook. Come over, like my page. Let's op open up conversation there because it'll be much quicker and easier. So she will do that. So that, that's right, Karen. So therefore, I'm developing a relationship. I'm getting them off of Twitter, over to Facebook, and who knows? Like I, I went in, I had a look at her blog, so I generally cared. I noticed she's an affiliate marketer for Amazon. So I wrote to her and said, oh, I see that you're an also affiliate marketer for Amazon. Great blog. Uh, what else is it that you're doing? Or like, because these books that you're promoting are very good home business entrepreneurial books. So see how I'm opening up conversation, but hey, let's just jump over to Facebook because it'll be so much easier to continue this conversation. And she will. I'm, I'm pretty sure she will. I, I do it all the time. And then from Facebook, one, you could peel them out into a Facebook chat, like into an actual call on Facebook because that's really easy. You don't need to worry about them. Uh, if they don't already have Skype, you can just, you know, chat on Facebook. That's easy. Or if you want to, you'd prefer to connect on Skype, then just connect on Skype. Have a chat with them. You know, it, you just don't know. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, oh, one more trick that I do on Facebook. Oh, no, sorry, on Twitter. That works a real treat too. Instead of, sometimes you get a bit tired of like just messaging people and, you know, typing it out, texting it out. So I actually shoot a quick video because in Twitter you can just, I think you just, yeah, you just hold the camera and put on the video. Hey, Alicia here. Thanks so much for replying. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. Um, look forward to your reply. You know, just quickly say what you need to say and jump off. People then instantly can see my face. Um, I've instantly built up a, a bit of a relationship because it's just not a message. I am a real person and you can go from there. The videoing is really a great way to go. Not many people do it, so shh, that's a real big secret. Um, so yeah, okay, so that's my five Twitter hacks to generate more leads plus a few extra bonuses. I hope this helps. I generate leads online all the time from Twitter and it's automated. Uh, yeah, any questions? That's, um, I'm not sure who else is on. I can see Karen's on. But like I said, there is a link up top. Oh, that pencil doesn't work. I like the purple, I think. Okay, jump on. Also, if you uh, want some more Twitter training, that's actually done by me. If you go over to YouTube and search my name, Alicia Dijong, you'll hit my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. I have a heap of tr Twitter training in there and also some replays of some webinars I've done and uh, also paid marketing on Twitter too, so PPC. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks, Karen, for joining. I know you can't jump on the call today, so that's cool. I'll put a recording in, but you know where to find me if you've got any questions outside of, you know, all this stuff, so cool. And uh, all right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks very much for joining me, and I'll uh, catch you all tomorrow. Bye.